smooth, quiet, comfortable, sporty, luxury. How can so many words be used to describe the same car? I'm Jeff Teague with Fred Anderson, Toyota and Raleigh, and this is the 2019 Camry XLE. Let's take a closer look. Looking at the front end, you'll see it has a very bold, pronounced, aggressive grill, yet it's also kind of combined with luxury because it has the horizontal slats with a classy smoke gray finish. Then you'll see fully integrated LED headlights and daytime running lights, also turn signals. Then it has the radar and a built-in camera, sort of like a GoPro, watching the lanes. That's part of your Toyota Safety Sense, so it's watching for full range dynamic radar cruise control, pre-collision system with daytime pedestrian detection, automatic high beams, and also lane departure alert with a steering assist that nudges you kind of back into your lane here. So that's the front end, what do you think? The profile of the car. See its aerodynamic sleek look that adds to the sportiness of the car and just a modern feel to it. It also improves the aerodynamics so that you can have much better fuel economy. And right here, taking a tour of the side, 18 inch silver machine finished alloy wheels. And then we've got a color keyed side view mirror that has the turn signal indicator here. It also has the blind spot monitor. So now let's take you on a little closer look here. Part of the aerodynamics of the car, sorry about the jutting out. See these little notches right here? Those are vortex generators and they actually pull air in. That helps with the fuel economy and lowers the drag coefficient coefficient of drag and then here you can see the blind spot indicator that would light up orange if somebody's in your blind spot and also if somebody is in your blind spot and you turn on your turn signal like you're gonna turn into them it starts flashing wildly saying are you sure because you're about to cut somebody off or hit them this is the profile of the car Now it's time for our first commercial break. Please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. Right below the video, hit subscribe please. If you're enjoying this video, hit subscribe. Toyota Jeff, for all your Toyota how-to videos, review videos, and dance techniques and tips. Holla, thriller, thriller night. Please subscribe. Now back to our regularly scheduled show. Boom! We've gotta check out the rear of the car, right? So, if this was an SE or XSE, you'd see a rear lip spoiler trademark to those models. Camry displayed prominently in XLE, so you know what it is. Then we've got a backup camera that's kind of hidden from the elements like rain and snow, and full LED tail lights and turn signals. You can see those, I've got them displayed here. And because it's an XLE, it's single exhaust, but it has a chrome tip. So if it was an LE, it would not have the chrome tip, just the normal tip. And then if it was an SE, it would have single exhaust, but it would have dual chrome tips. So those are some of the differences there. This is the back. And as far as suspension, one of the cool things that was added for 2018 is a redesign of the suspension. It has rear multi-link suspension. You can see that up in here. And what that does is it makes it a nice, soft, easygoing, smooth suspension. But when you go around turns and things like that, it has high performance, tight handling. So you get the best of both worlds with that. Cargo space, the thing I really love about Camry's cargo space is it's a nice wide opening so you can fit bulkier pieces of luggage, golf clubs, things like that. And then if you wanna lower the back seats to put something heavier in, you can just do this and then come around here or you can push it through. And then you can fit something bigger like me in here. Now, if you want to work on spare tire, Toyota engineers have come up with this crafty hook here and you can see the spare tire. So we've got the equipment here. This is also soundproofing so you don't hear a lot of road noise coming from the back part of the car, that hollow sound that you hear in certain hatchbacks and things. And then the spare tire, it's a temporary, but it is the same diameter as the rest of the tire so it won't wobble down the road like womp, womp, womp. And that's the back part of the car. When Camry was redesigned in 2018, their engineers opened up the rear seating compartment so that you can have more legroom, headroom, and shoulder room than in previous generations, and I'll show that. This is with one of the seats further back. You can still see plenty of headroom. The middle seat, there is a hump here, but maybe shorter people could sit there or you could straddle the hump, so to speak. And then this is with the seat 
further forward so you can have a little bit more stretch out room, plenty of headroom for me, elbow room. And then you can see the optional panoramic glass roof. I'll show that one in a little bit, but it really is cool. And it opens up the whole car, makes it lighter, especially for the back seat, folks. Here's some extras about the back seat. The armrest in the center pulls down, nice deep cup holders here. Then you've got rear air vents for back seat passengers. Seat pockets so you can put books, iPads, anything like that on trips. They both have them, both sides. And then you can see, this was added as an option at the factory. We also add this at our dealership. Two more USB ports. So the car normally has, because it's an XLE, it has three USB ports. Let me show you. One of them is gonna be right here. Two more are gonna be in the center console. And then optionally, you can add two more. So technically you could have five in here. And I get questions all the time about what does the interior look like? I get that on just about every car I review. So I'm gonna to try to do a 360 perspective so you can see just about every angle what the interior looks like. It's a very, very spacious, open interior. Very light, especially with the panoramic roof that we see here. But um, accent points, this is called Tiger Eye. I don't know why they chose to call it Tiger Eye, but there you go. It's gold, Jerry, gold. And then you can see the eight inch Intune Audio Plus screen. I like how the controls are laid out too. They're laid out nicely so that the driver can reach just about every button control dial with little distraction or effort and the passenger won't get annoyed by having to reach all the way across to reach their controls. Very easy for both driver and passenger. There's the front. Looking from the front window in, you can see these seats. There's a little difference here on the XLE. These are leather heated front seats. They're not the soft tax, it is leather. And then we've got a power driver seat. Most people know what a power, power driver seat does now. However, this is the lumbar support. This is to move the back of the seat forward and backward. And then this is an eight way power seat. So you can move it forward, backward, up and down. And you can even twist it to give you a little bit more room. I'm gonna show you the passenger seat in just a minute. I did wanna show you from this perspective that lever moves down so that the steering wheel can adjust in and out or up and down so you can get it exactly how you like it. Now let's go over to the passenger seat. Hashtag Camry road trip. Let's go places. Passenger seat. Again, the leather trimmed seats. You can go forward and backward, raise you up and down and then move the back of the seat. The only thing that's missing is lumbar support. You can see the tiger eye wood grain trim. Actually, it's kind of cool. It's different, that's for sure. This is like Olive Garden's Tour of Italy, except for this is Tour of Camry Controls. So this button here, not a lot of people know what that does. That actually locks out the passenger's ability to move their windows up and down. So if you have that up, then people can use their window controls. This is for the mirror adjustments for driver and passenger side. These are four-way auto up and down mirrors. I like that it's all four windows so everybody gets auto up and down. All right, now over here, this is for automatic high beams and the way to set automatic high beams is to turn it on, turn your lights on, and then put it in high beam mode and you can see the A right there for automatic high beams. So those are the three steps you need to do to have that feature active. This turns on and off traction control. This is your trunk release and your gas release, and then a little pocket, maybe for drive-through change. Steering wheel controls and multi-information display. I focus on this sometimes more than I think I should, but I know people don't know how to use this, so I think it is important. This goes across your multi-information display here. So you use this like a keypad, go across and over. Here are some of the things you can see in your seven inch multi-information display. You can see your eco, how far do you run out of gasoline? This is for radar cruise control. And also that's for three bars. That's a conservative distance between you and cars in front of you, a medium distance or a short distance. We can go to audio so you can see what is playing, et cetera, et cetera. And then we've got our settings for pre-collision system, blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert. I'll actually show that right now. 
what it does is when you've got the car in reverse, if there's anybody behind you, either a person or a car coming from the sides or behind you, it'll go beep, 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 and it shows you what the alert is so that you can miss them. This is really great for pulling out of a grocery store parking lot, backing up, especially when you have like a van or a truck on either side of you, and sometimes you can't see. So this will help prevent one of those backup collisions that frankly, they really suck. Now, back again. This sets your blind spot monitor, um, lane departure alert, pre-collision system settings, blind spot monitor on and off. That's off. This is on. Again, it flashes if somebody's in your blind spot and you turn on your turn signal like you're gonna turn into them. Rear cross traffic alert. And then we go back again. This is the digital speedometer. So you can either look at your regular speedometer or the digital speed and use whichever one is more convenient. Continuing on with the steering wheel controls, voice commands. Before you start, consider... Tune to 101.5 FM. 101.5 FM. See, that's very cool. It avoids distraction and you can change the radio station just with a voice command. Now, this is the radio volume. This is to pick up a Bluetooth call, hang up a Bluetooth call, radar cruise control settings, lane departure alert, AM, FM, Bluetooth, CD, and back again. This goes through your preset stations and then to activate cruise control, bloop. And to set your speed, you do that. And then this changes the distance that is between you and cars in front of you. So those are the steering wheel controls. They really do help with distractions. Another perspective. Here's the center console. You push that button in and then it gives you storage compartment here that's nice and deep and then two different charging USB ports. So you got a total of three in the front. This is for our multi-stage heated seats. This right here is our electric parking brake and brake hold. And then we've got different driving modes. You can drive it in normal camera mode. You can have a more responsive feel to the car with the sport mode and then eco that will give you better gas mileage by changing the throttle response and it also takes a little bit off the air conditioning system but it's very very slight you won't notice it hardly at all chi wireless charging so if you put your phone on here it'll automatically charge it those are for newer phones if you have an older phone you have to get some sort of a hardware piece a back cover or a receiver and you can get those on amazon for like 20 30 bucks storage room here and then this is the circular power port and USB and iPod jacks. Standard on the Camry XLE is our smart key push button start. And then going top shelf here, a standard auto dimming rear view mirror so that cars won't blind you behind you at nighttime. Home link so that you can program in three different garage door opening settings. This is LED light, LED light. Standard on all Camry trim levels is Wi-Fi Connect, but also Safety Connect, and that's sort of like a modern-day OnStar, we'll call it, so that if you run into trouble and you get in an accident, you can call this, or you run out of gasoline or need a tow, you can call them. Also, they can help find your car if it gets stolen. And then I like the dual vanity mirrors with the slide extenders so that everybody has a lighted mirror. Holla. To finish out the interior here, this is your fan speed. This adjusts where the air comes out. Air conditioning off, on. Your coldest air will be when it has air conditioning on with recirculated air. I gotta turn this down because I know it's gonna be bad for the audio. But you can have two different temperature settings here. This is your front defroster and your rear defroster with your side mirror defrosting. This is Entune 3.0 Audio Plus with the Entune App Suite, and I'll show you what that means. It's really easy to use. Consumer Reports said it was the least distracting multimedia system on the car market. You can adjust your, your sound with touchscreen. Very simple to do. And then source, you can AM, FM, satellite radio, or your own music on Bluetooth. The preset stations it goes through. What you have set up is your favorites. Then the apps, push that. It gives you access to different apps. Scout GPS link, that's Toyota's phone app that works through the car's computer. This is a great time to tell you that now on the XLE or XSE four cylinder, you can add the navigation package, which gives you built-in 
dynamic navigation system. So that's an option now on the four cylinder XLE or four cylinder XSE and frankly, Camry Hybrid XLE. But you get access to all these different apps like fuel prices, Pandora, traffic incidents, weather, Wi-Fi connect here. And this is exciting news. Every trim level of Camry comes standard with access to Apple CarPlay and Alexa enabled commands. No, I'm sorry, I did not say Android Auto. That's not available on the 19s. This is Apple CarPlay. You do have to have it tethered. Connect the phone to the car with a USB cable. And let's push Apple CarPlay and see what happens. Here you'll see different apps that are common to your smartphone. Um, some things that I have added. Google Maps was just added with the new iOS 12 update and then also Waze. So uh, I added Radio Disney, Sirius XM. I think I added Spotify. But anyway, whatever phone apps you add to your phone that are compatible with Apple CarPlay with this new update, they will automatically be added to your car's Apple CarPlay. So that's kind of cool just to see, oh wow, I got a new app, holla. Now, if you want navigation system, you can have access to the Scout GPS link. You can also have the Apple Maps. Google Maps or Waze, and then if you have the navigation package on this four-cylinder XLE or XSE, then you can have the normal, the dynamic navigation system. So you've got five different ways for navigation, and you really can just choose which one's better for you. And here's what XLE looks like at night with the LED lights figuring prominently. so hard to take a steady shot here. Let's see the turn signal indicator. And then our rear LED tail lights. Holla! Those are sharp. And then what the interior looks like at night. And here's what the multi-information display looks like at night. And tune radio system controls and dual temperature controls. And then our different driving modes and of course heated seats. I do want to show you here, this is what the icon looks like for automatic high beams. It's right here. BSM blind spot monitor RCTA, rear cross traffic alert. And then Here's how I know you have auto headlights on. And what you do is to get them active, you have to turn on your high beams and then it activates. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. And as Eric the actor would say, bye for now.